A soothsayer bids you beware the Ides of March. Set them before me. Let me see their face. You there, come from the throng and look upon Caesar. What sayest thou to me? Speak once again. I got it in my head that Julius Caesar would be the perfect piece to do because there are only really two female speaking roles in the piece, so why not give all of those wonderful male roles to women? Mm -hmm. And then women can explore the idea of power, explore the idea of uh, corrupted democracy, explore the idea of um, liberation, and, and what do we sacrifice to build a democracy? What do we, what, what kind of, uh, work and, and sacrifice does that take? Mm -hmm. Now, of course, this is all pretty timely because of what's going on in the rest of the world. Yeah. And we have this real fissure between, um, uh, well, obviously in the States, we have democracy is fighting for its life. Um, there are lots of other places in the world, too numerous to mention, where democracy is on very thin ice or non-existent. Mm. And so it's that whole question about how do you build community, how do you build democracy, how do you build um, a just society? Antony, forget not thy speed. I shall remember when Caesar says, do this, it is performed. <laughs> Set on, leave no ceremony out. So I went into this kind of knowing a little bit about Caesar and went into it with a very blank slate. So I kind of read through it and always had in my mind how I was going to read it. And so, yes, it's a masculine, but we do put a little bit of our little own kind of twist to it, which makes it really awesome. Like, I think it's really, really neat. And yeah, like I said, I, I, I maybe, Afterwards, I watched it and then I thought, you know, you know what, I kind of like the feminine version better. <laughs> The reality is what I really like connecting in this character is that strength, that power. Um, but I also like to see what's happening in our world today uh, brought through that character, that entitlement, that arrogance, that demanding. And, and so that's been really fun to bring that in. And I think that's there's a bit of that in all of us. It's a lot of work. It's uh, a lot of athleticism and just also a lot of memorization. I mean, remembering lines is very tough to begin with. And then when if you forget a line, you might accidentally, you know, cut someone's hand off, then that's the problem. Uh, like that's when it gets a bit more difficult. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it, it's, we have an amazing cast is I think the big thing that have really approached this so well and have just wholeheartedly embraced how all of these challenges that we've been throwing at them. I think what Robin has created here is is absolutely incredible. The opportunity to demonstrate the ability to hold space, to hold power, mm -hmm. is, is something that I think everybody is going to appreciate. Mm -hmm. And I don't think anybody can come and see this and not see two elements um, very much meshed together. And one is going to be that confidence in the power and the other the femininity. And to bring those two together and show that those two are completely compatible um, is going to be great. I just love the piece and I'm so proud of these women because most of them are coming to this um, not necessarily for the first time, some are, but some are also coming from a long time away. They haven't been on the stage for a long time. Uh, it's just, you know, or maybe they've done it once, you know. So anyway, I'm just thrilled.